Keystone Light. Now that I'm a big time YouTube celebrity, my close personal friends occasionally give me beer. So I got this Keystone Light from Jordan and Chelsea out of their own personal Keystone Light stash. This is 4% alcohol by volume. So pretty incredibly light. And uh, the instructions are on this special fucking pop tab that you are supposed to open the beer and then pop the breathe hole help the can breathe but as we all know I'm a motherfucking rebel so here's the fucking reverse action on the keystone and that's just how you fucking break the mold so uh, oh shit yeah let's give this a fucking epic pour right out sweet <laughs> So that is extremely pale. That is very transparent. A lot of um, champagne-like effervescence on this one. And uh, very, very light color like for a beer. Period. Rapidly dissipating head. Keystone was a big fan of the regular Keystone, which comes in a can here, which is slightly different than the American version for you fucking Yanks down there. Uh, this is brewed in, uh, where is this, uh, I'm assuming Guelph, Canada, Coors, blah, 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 Toronto, Vancouver, Canada, St. John's, Moncton, oh, maybe not, it's by Molson Coors, Canada, and those uh, strategically placed Canadian breweries. So let's give this a taste. And a renaissance mill. Very, just typical macro aroma. Very light, not much aroma going on. A nice light sweetness. Typical macro, barley, lager smell. It smells quite inviting, like a very refreshing summer type beer. It goes down really good, really good, really smooth, nice mouthfeel and texture to the beer. Very light. I like it a lot better than the regular Keystone that we get up here, the Canadian version, in the red can. And I know it's not the first time I had a, this over there because I don't drink Keystone typically, so I noticed that I really like this a lot better than the red Keystone. I was really fucking, I bought a 24 for a buddy who likes macro. So I now wanted to try it too, and I was really let down by the red Keystone, and it, and some people like that. But this this Keystone Light actually, ironically, it's a little more full kind of. It doesn't or something. The the the, the regular Keystone was really more vacant than this. It 
It's maybe just a little more well balanced in some way. A little bit. It's not even that watery for for macro. It wasn't really easy. I actually like this a lot better than a lot of other cheap macro, and I, and I hated the red Keystone. Fucking hated it. So hated it bad. Um, and I, I prefer the flavor of this, like let's say over even old Milwaukee, something like that, for a budget for a budget macro. Comes to budget macro though, um, for me my number one fave is, is Olympia, but this one is uh, actually I'm enjoying it quite nicely for for budget macro. This is really good uh, for beer overall. It's, of course, it's a light budget macro, but I do prefer this over Bud Light. I've, you know, which is <clears throat> I'm just not a Budweiser person, so. Extremely refreshing on a hot day. A little bit of like, um, the corn syrup in the back, whatever. Really nothing intrusive here, but there's really like not a lot of flavor either. I mean, it is a 4% macro beer, so for what it is, I'm actually really impressed with this fucking Canadian Keystone Light. For what it is, I'm blown away. No head performance out of it or glass lacing or anything like that. crazy color on that like how would that and it, it doesn't have a lot of flavor but what it does is it it is balanced with the sweetness it's a little bit like a sugar forward we'll say with uh with a smoothness and i typically don't like sweet things either but this is um uh, really enjoying this it's going down a lot better than a few of the shitty beers i've had lately so Has to rate typically on macro. I'm gonna go seven out of eleven on this one. This is uh, exceptional for for budget macro, for like the lower end macro. I would take this over Molson Canadian, and um, uh, it'd be kind of a close tie with old old style Pilsner with me. Um, a couple though, it's a little bit light for me. I, I kind of I, I need a heavier beer. I'm not a light beer drinker at all, but <coughs> but the Keystone Red. I mean that was just to me was just trash just like i couldn't even drink hardly choke one down but this this is nice for budget macro but seven out of eleven and also considering the price thrown into there so seven's okay um so thanks to jordan and chelsea for donating me the keystone light um fucking Liked it better than I thought it would, and then I had one over there last time, and, and, I, and I was kind of blown away by how much I didn't mind the Keystone Light for Budget Macro. Keep it fucking... Keep it.